Welcome, opinionated family. How y'all doing to another? We're here. Hit the claps, nigga. Hit the claps. Hit the claps, nigga. Hit the claps, nigga. Oh, listen, we've been doing this for about four, four years and some uh, time and some change. You ain't comfortable yet. I'm not comfortable with this shit, man. I've never been comfortable with the with the whole hey, welcome to the opinionated podcast. Why does he jump on there like a fucking show host, like a like a like a a game show host? Yeah. Hey, it's me, yeah. Kev. We're here with the Opinionated Podcast, and we're here to give you a live and direct. See? That he was faking it. it, and that was easy for him. Why is, why is, that, why is that? Why are you so... Well, it's because I say, hey, welcome to Opinionated Family. How y'all doing this evening, evening or afternoon? <laughs> Whatever the fuck time of day it is right now, I don't fuck it up. That's where I fuck it up much. at. I do too much. much. I no, th- you I think do. too much. Yeah, yeah I do. You gotta let it free flow. Yeah. See, I'm a natural. My my personality always been head to mouth. It's like no, there's no break. There's no, you know, whatever I think it just comes out. <laughs> but you and, you know, it. it might be our fault, and I'm gonna tell you why. We What's up? we I mess with you, and I mess with you because it's funny to see your reactions. But I think you think I'm gonna say something. I'm not gonna say nothing, bro. I'm not gonna say nothing. Like, like shit, here. Let me do. Do you play, boy? Nah. Okay. As long as you ain't gonna fuck with me, I'm cool. No, that's all I want. Don't fuck with me. I always fuck with you. She always fuck I do. with me. I do. Because it's funny. Kev's reactions is funny, and that's why. But I won't do that no more. Because I want to be comfortable. Nah, nah, nah. You can do it. It makes the show. It makes the show look natural. When these people see me come on here flustered, they think I'm going to get clowned by you guys for coming in with a cool ass intro. Nobody's going to clown you. <laughs> cool ass. Everyone's cool going to clown intro. you. <laughs> Dope ass <laughs> intro. I don't... I'm gonna get fucking shame intro shamed. <laughs> oh, intro shamed is crazy. <laughs> Come on, King Intro. Yeah, this nigga just left the whole podcast. You, know, you see him? He Slide just left. Him. He just abandoned. He's this nigga, he this nigga takes his shit. And this only guy I know who wants to take shit mid recording. We didn't even start yet. We, is he we, we shit? I don't know. I hope not. That'd be crazy. To spontaneously have the dookie. It's crazy. Yeah. yeah. Now you're talking about us clearing our throat with the microphones. I hear that chair. Stop sliding the chair around, buddy. I know. I'm trying to get my shit right. Go ahead. I, and what are you eating? Cool. Animal crack? What are you eating? Animal crackers or something? I'm not fucking eating animal crackers. <laughs> what the fuck is that? It's a Rice Krispie treat. It's a great pre-workout. Apparently, that's that's not healthy for you at all, but it's a great who, pre-workout. Who the fuck <laughs> said Rice Krispie treat is a pre-workout? Bodybuilder. Oh, I lost my shit. Oh. It's something, oh, like, it's something with the macros on a um reaching your pocket on a rice yeah, crispy. I'm not eating it for a workout though. I'm just saying, like Nick, people who bodybuild say that it's a great like it's not a pre-workout, it's a great pre-workout meal because it's something with the macros. I don't know what even macro means. Macro and nutrients. All right, fuck all that shit. We're here to talk about <laughs> <laughs> we're here to uh, talking about we're here to talk about jealous partners and everybody probably <laughs> had one in, in their fucking life. We all had one. We all went through the the bullshit of a jealous partner, man. And um it's not cool, man. It's not Got fucking snack cool. back there? I've been a jealous partner. You've been a jealous partner, so you've mm-hmm. been you you've been the guy that constantly checks up on your girl. Has, have you done that? Yeah. Wow. In the worst way. Tell me how it went down. Uh, tell me how it went down. Um, just being a guy who didn't like his girl to talk to any other guy at all. Like, no, there's no such thing as guy friends. There's no such thing as like, yeah, I've, I've definitely been that the jealous partner before. I I've um, I've gotten better at it though. I'm, I'm more mature now, so I don't really give a fuck. I think she gave you some good pussy. Usually, good pussy makes you a jealous partner for men. It's good on both sides. I guess if you you're fucking hitting them with the, you know, yeah, hitting, hitting them with long stroke, they 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 love you too. So okay, yeah, but I'm <laughs> saying, man, like, <laughs> saying, but like, talk going back to the first thing of the signs of a jealous partner, the constant checking up on you shit. That shit is the worst, man. I had a, a, a ex like that that would just fucking. Bring my shit every two fucking minutes when I had a cell phone, or as even as far back as like just pop up on me, like, hey, I'm going to play ball. This motherfucker would just come down to the park just to stare at me, you know, after I, you know, done left, like just stare there, just in some fucking dark, desolate corner, just looking at me. <laughs> like, what the fuck are you doing? Like, what are you talking about? 
<laughs> a dark, desolate corner. In the just park. in a, just, just, yeah, just at the park, just like in a the park, in the shade. Like, I see this nigga. Well, talk to a bitch. <laughs> what do you think made? What do you think makes a person jealous? Like, what do y'all think really makes a person? Is it immaturity or is it like, is it insecurity? Like, what do y'all think makes a person act that way? I think it's a little bit of, of all of that, you know insecurity of maybe something that happened in the past or shit that they had to deal with uh immaturity um just not sure about the situation that they're in with the person you know what i mean possessiveness you know what i'm saying like what's theirs is theirs and they want to make sure that they keep anybody away from it pride you know mm. it's it's a, it's a little bit of everything wrapped up into it and it makes I feel as though it makes that person just bad act, shit crazy. Yeah, like act out of character, especially over some shit. What's the worst jealous thing that either one of y'all have done? Dude. Done? Oh, done. Yeah, done. Because y'all uh, been jealous too. What's the uh, worst thing you've done? I think I, the worst thing I did was as a young boy. Uh, <laughs> my girl, he said, uh, my ex had a fat ass. She used to always wear this fucking like summer dress. Like, you know, the, you know the, sun, the sundresses that come out in the summer. So her ass be always crazy and niggas always be looking. So I took that fucking dress and I fucking hit it. Like I like took it from without her know when I took it and like stuffed that shit way up in the closet where she couldn't find that shit. And resolve that she wound up taking my Buster Rhyme CD. <laughs> <laughs> that I love so much. <laughs> on the one, Which on the one, one of Genesis? <laughs> it was yeah. Genesis. It was Genesis. He yeah. knows. That's why I say he's been around a long time. <laughs> what's, what's, what's on a one that scale from one to ten? How crazy would you rate that? Oh, nigga, that's got that's an eight. The go that's an eight that for her to go take a shower and that's then an you eight. fuck, then you go look for the dress and you know she's gonna wear it and you just hide that shit and then you act like you didn't hide that motherfucker. I don't that's know where's that. That's a five. That's I a five. Know, I don't know where your dress is at. You know why? Like burning it or something like that would have been crazy. Yeah, yeah. I actually think actually getting a, actually get a rid of, getting rid of it would have made it. You know, not even just throwing it in the trash. Like like Drake said, burning it. Throwing it, throwing acid all over it, <laughs> actually destroying yeah. it, and then and then putting it back. That would have made you crazy. <laughs> 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 Shit burnt up. You put it on the hanger and left, leave it in. Like, what happened? Uh, I don't know. Fire ants. <laughs> oh shit! Fire ants. Fire ants. <laughs> I think wear, wearing it would have been a ten. <laughs> that would have been a ten. You like it when I wear this? <laughs> that would have been. A How ten. about I go in public with this on? <laughs> um. <laughs> Crazy, I think of a jealous. Come on, bro. Come on. You I'm did done. something jealous. See, I'm long not, time I'm ago. Not long jealous. time ago. Long time ago. I don't, I'm not jealous now, but I, I, I guess when I was in my teenage years dealing with women, yeah. I would be jealous. I don't really get jealous until after shit is over. So it's not jealous. You just, you just, yeah, a bitter, okay. you're just a bitter ex. <laughs> Not really bitter. <laughs> not really. I See, mean, yeah, you could be this a little bitch bit. with this, this six bitch. four Yo, muscle Kev bound nigga. Crazy, Kev the crazy ex. <laughs> you the crazy ex. They make all them songs about. <laughs> I don't think I got. Did I get crazy? Niggas oh, in the no. trunk. He's in the trunk oh, or man. his girlfriend's new date. <laughs> I think the most jealous shit I've ever done is so, if 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 I don't like the person. I'll I would delete like their number out of the phone or delete uh, text threads or you know what I mean uh, try to make them invisible back then like or or, or non existent. <laughs> I can't think of nothing crazy. Jealous. Nigga. Yeah. Nigga. That was ass. Nigga. I'm about to say. <laughs> nigga. I mean what you did isn't, isn't crazy jealous either. They're just like, no, nah, I don't want you to wear this. This but nigga, I, it's a four or five. I, I don't even th- I can't even think of something that you've done that was crazy jealous out of all the situations that we've been in. <laughs> I can't think of jealous shit that you've done. I, I'm not so... I, That's I, what I'm saying. I don't... I, I mean... I check up on people. I like, hey, bitch, what you doing? Why are you talking to this nigga? I think that, one yeah, time... Maybe, I, maybe talking to them about somebody that, that, that you feel as though maybe you're inferior to, you oh, know, w- when you're in a relationship or you're trying to get to them, like, like compared to likenesses, like... Oh, you might like him more than you like me because you do this. You know what I mean? But, but I, I can't really think of something that I've actually done and gone out of my way because it made. We would call them niggas suckers back then. Nah, or, I was. Or, I did some sucker shit. You know like, what I mean? Time, like, I, I did a sucker move. Y'all ain't never do no sucker. I did a sucker. I did a sucker shit on. I did a sucker shit on my on my own brother. 
my ex had a bike, she a motorcycle. She would never let me ride this bitch as much as I begged her. So one day, me and my brother, my brother comes to the lake with us, and she has a bike. She like, his brother like, oh, I forgot something at the gate. She's like, oh, you can ride my bike. I said, bitch, I've been asking you to ride this bike all my life the whole time we've been together. This nigga has to go do something? Nah, you ain't riding this bike. <laughs> I said he's not riding this bike. <laughs> you can take my motorcycle. You're not riding this bike until I ride this motherfucker first. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> I'm, glad, I'm glad you're taking this podcast to the next level. <laughs> well, I'm really glad. Thank you. <laughs> Why, I was like, bitch, you crazy. You done, you done lost your fucking mind. I, you gonna let my what the fuck you like my brother that you don't like me that he can ride the bike that I've been begging to ride ride all this fucking time. Now, that bro, crazy. that is crazy. No, that's just crazy in itself though. That's not even jealousy crazy. That's just crazy in itself. <laughs> you got something wrong. You got something wrong with you. I've uh, let's see. I've uh, took I took Erica's phone before. Oh. I took her phone when we were we were broken up. Definitely took her phone. That's, that's, Did some crazy that's, shit. I thought I got it in my head. Oh, you probably fuck with other niggas. Went, took her phone. <laughs> took her phone. <laughs> she probably gonna laugh if she hear me talk about it now. But yeah, went, took her phone. Yep. Started going through it. Motherfucker erased everything. I said, oh, you so, oh, oh, oh. I, I probably would have caught your ass. I probably would have caught you. But we were broken up though. I caught, I caught my girl. At the time, talked to another nigga, went through her phone. Wait she a minute. She on. left her phone there. I said, I'm going through this. I know. I know. You just, I know. You just I know. gonna go past that. I know. You just gonna you just gonna let what Dre said slide. Yeah. What he said. Yeah. This nigga Crazy. said, but Crazy we shit. was broken up yeah. though. So, I know. Yeah, he's been ex too. so he Crazy gonna talk shit. about I'm the crazy ex, but this nigga going, <laughs> we're not love together her. no more. But I'm gonna find you. I'm gonna find your yeah. phone. It's my phone now. I still and love I'm gonna go through mean? your business because we're not together. Yo, you remember you remember the oh, trunk monkey? And then not find nothing. <laughs> remember the trunk, remember the trunk monkey? That was crazy. <laughs> the trunk monkey area. <laughs> that nigga Jake popped up. Like, <laughs> oh. <laughs> I was like, wait, what? Trunk evil, monkey. evil, <laughs> evil monkey. You deleted it all. He just pointing there, not saying yeah. nothing at her like this. I'm crazy. Did you did you uh, did you break the phone? No, I kept it. It was a Crap. long time ago. Just to let you know where the time so, frame. So was, basically, you, you stole it. No, no, I think you I kept it. it. I think at the time I was I was like, I think we got it together. It might have had my it might have been in my name. It was a sidekick. That's how long ago it was. And I went, I said, no, you're gonna give me that phone. Some shit. I said some dumb shit. And she, she brought it to me. She brought it to me. Shit. I, yeah, she did. Yeah. I was being evidence. bitter. Damn, yeah, take man. your phone. Take take all the shit. But, but I didn't do it because I'm like, no, this is my phone and we ain't together. I didn't do that. I wanted to see what she was doing. <laughs> I wanted to see, like, who this is it a new nigga? Who is it? Whatever, whatever it was. I just wanted all the tea. You know how your brain crazy. Is so crazy. Your Deranged. Brain is so crazy. Yeah. See, that's the thing. You that's go look. Happened. You go looking for something, then you fucking find something. You're gonna be find a dick pic in the phone. You be fucking heartbroken. No. Oh, okay. I got one. <laughs> I do have one, and I remember now. I another one too. Go ahead. So, so I was with. Um, now. Someone in the yeah, this was a long time ago. This was before my daughter was born, my mm. oldest. Um, I was living in Chiz. I couldn't get in touch with the person I was with. Nope, wasn't picking up the phone, none of that shit. Person stayed on, stayed somewhere. It was probably like an hour, almost an hour drive from me for me. You know what I mean? 40, 45 minutes, something like that. Mm. Oh, you're not picking up the phone? Nigga, I took the bus there. <laughs> to pop up, to pop up, taking the and, bus, and, and the bus <laughs> drops you off at a at a point, and then you gotta walk like a mile to get there, bro. So <laughs> popped up. Yo, what you doing, yo? Why you ain't picking up the phone? Yeah, because I got I had to at the time I had to make sure, like, bro. yo, you oh, you're not picking up the phone. You think I won't just show up? Bro, taking <laughs> a bus to pop up is not a pop up. That's a scheduled <laughs> visit. <laughs> only, there was only scheduled one side. <laughs> I was the one that made the schedule. <laughs> it was a walk-in appointment. Yo, you, bro, listen, I'm gonna walk you through this. You had to stay mad the whole time you were on that bus. You had nah, to make nah. sure you rekindled the anger. Like, Ooh, this nigga, kind of, mm. did this nigga, did this nigga got get off the bus right now? Why are you digging the bell, nigga? I got somewhere to be. <laughs> I got to be. Next, I got drive to be. this bus to my destination. Fuck all these other passengers. Yo, 
that more, is wild. more 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 it's more curiosity before because you, you don't <laughs> you don't know to be angry or not yet you know what i'm saying you're like oh what the Bro. fuck going on and and you're like mm, let me find out <laughs> let me find out there? let me fi- let me find out and you get there and it's like oh okay but yo. oh why are you not picking up the phone <laughs> you know something's up you know what i'm saying you always know something's up Somebody, if somebody you deal with on the regular, just don't pick up the phone. Something ain't right, bro. What made you, you correct? I, no, this nigga was mad. Wait, wait, hold on. Were you correct? I don't know. It's a long bus ride, so for me to get there, <laughs> the nigga's already gone. The nigga, the, <laughs> nigga, the game could have been. <laughs> been. It, 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 it took. It, I mean, you figure, you figure the ride and the walk combined. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? By the time you got there. It's like she now you just now, now you yeah now you're just looking for clues. <laughs> now you're looking for clues. Nah, nah, nah. Get the black light. Stop playing. Whoa. <laughs> I would even listen, I would even be mad at Kev after taking a long bus ride and walking that long that he just when he got to it, he just hauled off and slapped her side of her head. Like, right. bitch, that was for the walk. <laughs> <laughs> Mind you, her, her grandma was sick and she was taking care of her. That's why she ain't answer the phone. Nice. I think we've all I think we've all done that. I've done the I've done the pop up before. I've definitely done the pop up before. Oh, that's that's weird, dog. That is that is no, I did that. you ain't never do no pop up. No, it was yeah. nasty. Yeah, it was nasty weird. Very weird. Yeah. We realized yeah. that now. I'll never back do that then, now. Back then, yeah. when you're young, you're like, oh nah. You know, I think you just don't want to waste your time. You wanna you wanna know the truth, but you don't want to know the truth. You know what I mean? Like nah, you wanna know the truth, but you don't want it to be that. That's what it is. Uh, you know what I mean? Me crazy. Yes, you don't want it to be yeah. that, but you, you don't want it to be on. that. Hey, but you, you it's a big enough hunch to let you go drop yeah. by. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's, see, that's that's the crazy. You always you want to catch him in the act if yes. it's if it's true. You so want to catch him so you can be <laughs> yeah, so you can be like, see, I knew it, you stupid bitch. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, you Death. know what? You know Death what? from above. <laughs> you know what jealous shit I hate, yo. I had the jealous. I had an ex that used to be jealous when I. I used to hang out with this nigga right here. Like I was like, "Yo, I'm going to play." This we was mad young. This is like this nigga said used to. This like, is, he wasn't out last night. Yeah, we was, but <laughs> this was an ex. This is an ex. So this, this, I'm, this is this is like almost twenty something years ago. So I'm like, "Yo, Kev, wanna, I'm going to go play ball with Kev." This nigga, as I'm trying to like put on my basketball clothes, this nigga would like I'm turn my back. This nigga would jump on my back, start like scratching my face, my neck. I'm wrestling this bitch the whole time in the room. This nigga downstairs waiting for me or outside waiting for me like, what the fuck is taking this nigga so long? I'm upstairs wrestling for my life because this bitch won't let me go outside and go play she basketball with this nigga. On you like a How spider monkey. I was like 18, man, like 18 years old. Like, it's before Kiara. This is like, this is her, this is her, this is her mother. I don't give a fuck. This is her mother. Well, I, I knew who it was, but in all honesty, yeah. bro, why you had all these women living with you? That was... <laughs> <laughs> I just need to know why are you taking to these women like stray dogs and then get mad because I don't want you to go nowhere. Bitch, they <laughs> they don't want you to go nowhere. They can't even come out the room. <laughs> you gotta go to the house. They just have free room with the house, man. Yo, when your, when your mom the home, bro, so when your mom came home and when somebody came home, they was just coming out the room walking around. Yeah, they walked around. They he had was free locking the bitches in your room and then going was, to play basketball. They was locking themselves in the I would come back. They, my mom be like, my mom be she mad like for her life. <laughs> my mom be mad like, like dungeon pussy. My mom like, why you ain't take? Like, mom like, why you take this fucking girl with you? She just sat on my bed for an hour talking my fucking head off about you leaving her here. Like, I don't want to hear this shit. Like next time you go to the park and play basketball, take that bitch with you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I don't want the conversation. But I'm like, yo, why do I gotta fight and argue with you to go play basketball with this nigga? Like, I'm 18. Like, bitch, you were chill. her guardian, nigga. You were her legal guardian. <laughs> <laughs> That's why. <laughs> Look at this day job. You had to bring her with us. <laughs> we said the exact, the same exact shit a long time ago, man. Listen, I'm gonna find it too. <laughs> this bitch legal. Gu- I'm not her legal guardian. He's the same bitch. Older, she's older than me. She's year older than me. Oh man. Well, <laughs> but I'm just saying, it's like, yo, why do I got to fight? Like, I knew, like, to go play ball with this nigga. Like, I remember one time, dog, she locked the door and went and moved from in front of the door. And I'm trying to wrestle to get out the door. I jumped out the window. I jumped out a second story window to the fucking ground just so I get out the house. And nothing, t- nothing tipped you off. <laughs> you just kept, you just kept going home and having sex with her. <laughs> 
Another took you off, but she's crazy <laughs> as shit, and you should probably ditch her at the nearest homeless shelter. Man, when you Nothing got you realize that she had, a, she had a place to go at back to when you when you have in house when you have in house pussy in high school, dog. You you you're, you're not nice. really you're not thinking about fucking kicking her out. You know, he's like, Let me make up this bitch. This is in house. Yep. This is something I can roll over the middle of the night and hit. And go to school the next day. They're like, hey, what, you, how, what you do at the crib last night? Oh, nothing. Just cuddle with my bitch. How about you? <laughs> <laughs> Can't be going home having his bitch do his homework in the dungeon. <laughs> Why he go to play basketball? I'm about to say, that's what he, the first thing he come home and do, hand her his book bag and leave. <laughs> <laughs> and it better be all A's when I get to school. <laughs> you know, she already graduated. <laughs> So he's just waiting in his room with her diploma doing his own work. Y'all niggas say shit. You said she was older. I ain't say that. Nigga, you got a professor in your bedroom. <laughs> Funny as shit. I'm just saying. That's how, that's how you... I'm going over <laughs> what you're saying, bro. <laughs> you're saying, like, I had computers back in the day. She had no, no, yeah, yeah. an encyclopedia. No. Uh, so I, listen, bro, I literally, like, that's why I didn't leave. I knew she was crazy. I knew she was jealous, crazy. Like, it was just, I'm in high school with a chick living with me. Yeah. Then she wound up getting pregnant, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, who, who could have saw that coming? Hey, man, listen, that nigga I just, got a condom one time. That shit was too tight. Know. I took it off. Yeah, the last time I wore a condom. Oh, my God. Let that <laughs> story be the last <laughs> time you <laughs> tell that story. <laughs> nah, I know. I was used to be I used to be a faithful condom <laughs> guy. Like, I used to buy, like, whole 30 packs. All right, all right. All right. We're not going to no, do this again. No. What? We're not going to tell these lies again. I did. I used to, that's not a lie. I used to buy the thirty packs. You bought one. To. You bought one thirty pack and threw it away. Nah, <laughs> man. Nah. You start getting motherfuckers pregnant. I don't. I don't want to do this again. I'm saying <laughs> before she got pregnant, she got pregnant because dog. Once I felt raw, I said I am never going back. <laughs> so it took like, you was eighteen to feel raw. Yeah, dog. I was. I was scared of having kids, man. I was scared of STDs, all types of shit. Certain, yeah, it's certain and girls. After the first one, I'm just it's certain, rolling it, in like the seasons. It's certain <laughs> girls that I was. It's certain girls that I was fucking on a regular basis that I never would even dare to hit. Well, I always put a fucking condom. On. I just didn't trust their fucking background and nature. I said I don't give a fuck about nothing you talking about. I don't, we always fuck with a condom on, bitch. We'll fuck with a condom on until I feel it's safe to proceed. You know, proceed through this motherfucker. You, you know what I'm saying? This person had kids, so I'm like, it must have been all right. So ain't nobody get set on fire or got some disease they can't reverse. So it must have been good. But yeah. I was, yeah, I was a faithful condom dude at one point in time in my life, man. I was like faithful to that shit. I was going through condoms, but I was faithful with the shit. Sorry right. that you can't believe that shit. I, I, I wholeheartedly don't. But I just but, I'm not gonna keep This is way before our friendship, so <laughs> it's hard for you to imagine. So this, for the first 17 years of his life before he knew you, <laughs> he was Crazy. wearing condoms. Was, but as soon yeah. as y'all met, I did I met you. Oh, I met you when you window. had a baby already, bro. So yeah, yeah. I, yeah. The whole time I know you. Yeah, but man. so you, I mean, listen, we, we can go past this and, and start talking about something else. You have to realize that you've been using a condom, you've been using not using the condom <sighs> longer than you have been, if you think yeah. about it, if you add up everything. So yeah. what you're saying doesn't make any goddamn sense <laughs> because <laughs> it's been like well, not 30 years, at 23. least 20 something, 23. yeah, 23 years. Yeah. All right, of course. <laughs> what? Right, 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 like, yeah, goddamn, yeah. what the fuck? Yeah. Listen, man, I still use con like if 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 I'm getting some strange, I throw a condom on. I'm sorry. It's some shit I'll be like, I'm not rolling it. Sometimes I roll the dice and the if she let me get the pussy too easy, oh I'm putting a condom on. I'm not yeah. rolling this dice. This when is a is bad the last time you actually bought a condom. Oh I'm, I'm and I promise mind. we'll get back to our real subject. Decades. Bro, Decades. You have not, I've never seen you even say, Hold on, y'all, I gotta go to the store and buy a condom. Yeah. And we've been out single before together. You've, I've never seen you say, "Now nah, let me stop at the store real quick, buy some condoms." No, and you and you was going out to try to get pussy, bro. I still because let me tell you why. I could buy condoms back then, and them shits could last for ten years because I wasn't using them. 
like three or four years. I buy a box of yeah, box, knowing I'm yeah, going wrong the for so long. I'm like, all right, cool. I know I still got this box of five here that I can use. Listen, I was uh, I had to um, uh, for sure they got that fucking Miranda pulled out of her before Jasmine got here. I, sh- I just went and bought some condoms. Said we're not doing this. I'm not having no more babies, <laughs> bro. She's like, we're gonna have a kid. And I'm like, all right, let me take this shit. So I was a waste of time. My ex-wife. I, I use condoms with her. You was using condoms, she yeah. got pregnant, and then you were like, I'm gonna take these off now. I was taking that motherfucker off, hitting it from the back. I put the condom off when we started. Then uh, yeah, bro. Come on. Whoop de doo. Let's take this off here. You are the LeBron of not wearing condoms. The nigga <laughs> said, whoop de doo. Let's take this off here. Yeah. <laughs> you the LeBron of having babies, my nigga. Like you just have them. Like, there's other niggas that got more than you, but you a close second. So let's just continue, please. <laughs> let's continue. God damn, y'all, that's y'all trash a, my that, life. Damn, that's a funny analogy how you put that. Damn. Okay. <laughs> you put LeBron yeah. in second place and that same way he put you in second place. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, all right, the, 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 the accusations, man. Assumptions and the accusations. Don't look at me. Don't fucking look at me. Yo, I saw you like. <laughs> 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 the yeah. Uh, y'all, y'all never meet it. This nigga gonna look at the camera like. <laughs> <laughs> if I ain't gonna say nothing. He ain't gonna say nothing. <laughs> I'm just gonna make sure that we all hearing the same shit. That's all. Go ahead, go ahead. Continue with your accusations. Your accu- <laughs> <your> accusations. <laughs> we had to cut all this shit the fuck up, though. We had to cut everything out of this shit. This is just us. This is one of the ones, man. I'm sorry. Accusations. I came to joke today. Sorry. I see. I see. Accusations. There you go. And assumptions. Accusations. <laughs> It had more syllables in my mind when I was re- when I was reading. More, it. Was, so, I heard a syllable. I wasn't sure. Pull the extras. Need a pull the vowel for no doubt. Three cents. Vowel for four hundred. I like the salt. You want the accusations you got? So go ahead. Yeah. Go. The accusations and the hey, Listen, I just fuck it. Like I like the salt and fuck the whole puzzle up. Like you had the whole world spread out for you. Just fucked it up at the end. No. Go ahead, just, bro. Man, <laughs> Come on, man. Y'all, ain't never, y'all, y'all never had that shit like, yo, man. Uh, oh, I think you're fucking her because she's just too nice to you. Like, bitch, what? All she yeah. did was ring my groceries the fuck up. This is the first time we ever met this lady. <sighs> so, uh, my wife came up with a whole this or this is a long time ago. Not right now, though. She she still think I uh, messed with some girl just because we was friends back at like a long time ago. Oh yeah, you fucked her. I'm like, I've never had sex with her. We've never even crossed that line. Ever. I just know her from high school. And we've talked on the phone here and there to say, hey, how are you doing? Hey, how are you doing? Oh, I'm in college now. Me too. That's it. That's all. Mm-hmm. And for years, she was like, Yeah, you fucked her. I'm like, nope. I told you all the, I tell you people that I fucked. Yeah, I fucked her. You know what I'm saying? I, I even admit to the ugly ones. But <laughs> This one, I'm like, no, just never did ever did anything like that or talked about anything like that. That's crazy. So yeah, no, nah, nah, that shit, that shit's annoying as fuck, man. That is the most annoying as fucking thing ever. Is like, yo, yeah, I know her. She's a female. I, I didn't, I don't have to sleep with her. You know, I don't have to sleep with her. Yeah, trust me, I don't. I don't want to. I got a couple females like that. I just, I'm, I'm not gonna sleep with. I'm not. I'm just cool. You, you Why know, haven't you? Because you know so everybody you know everybody because it's like yo why uh why worry about this one little tree right here where you can have the whole forest like she's a female she got plenty of friends that are way hotter than she is so instead of instead of me you know hitting this off and then she's jealous because i want to hit her friends how about i just make her my, my friend and go tag her other friends and she's cool with me doing it because we're homies I mean, the thing that you're doing isn't like an honorable thing. Like, I know you try to. Like, I don't know why I, I was listening that. to this shit. Not, but what he's talking about is, why take the tree when you can have the forest? And I'm like, that is not something. No. Like, bro, you, yeah, you named it. You did something different than I thought you were going to do. Yeah. There. As soon as I heard it, I was like, this is going left. Yeah. Fast. Super um, fast. I just think some people are friends. 
Like it's it's it doesn't have to go past that. You can even be even if you look a certain way and that person looks a certain way. Yo, you just, like no, nah, we are literally just cool. That person is cool and will never not be cool. I don't see them that way. That that's how I see it. Um, but you took a different approach. You said that you use them to funnel you more more bitches. That was still cool. I'm not saying they weren't cool. Like I, your whole analogy makes sense <laughs> said, too. They were cool. He said, "Nah, I use them but, as a gateway." <laughs> but you yeah. know, Good I'm going to leverage this friendship <laughs> a little bit more. You're female. Let me leverage this fucking friendship. You got a plethora of females no that way. are bad that you know. You don't know. You, yeah, all right. I don't know no women with no pretty friends. You know women with pretty friends? My wife ain't ugly. She's trying to see my wife ugly. Janetta was my best friend. That's how I met my wife. All right, yeah. All right, so shut the all fuck right. up. Right. Nah, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I, think that, right, yeah. I think that my We're wife not going to do that. Oh, yeah, we are going to do that. Friends that. My <laughs> friends find them attractive, her, her friends. So yeah. she only has like two. You know, friends, but, not not. She only has two friends, period. So I'm clear. I'm clearly being facetious. Like you are. Course, you're terrible. Of course, that there there are females with pretty friends. Yeah, I no. just don't know any <laughs> 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 to do that trick that you're talking about. Like I wouldn't. Like I don't know any to do that with. Like, you know, so, what I mean? let me funnel all your friends to me. Watch this. Hey, Dre, do you hate when your girl? You, you when you first got with your girl and then your ex. They like they say I don't hang out with females, I only hang out with dudes, and that shit pissed you off. Like, yo, you fucking some of these guys. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you, that's exactly you made what I it. Thought. You made the assumption that they're fucking everybody that they're cool with. Yeah. Yep. I yeah, what, do it because that's sorry. exactly what was said, and I said, yep. "Fuck out of here." So what I was I? young though. You didn't hit him with the. So what am I? No, I just hit her with the dick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm about to say because. As soon as they say something like I only hang out with guys, I'm a guy and I'm like, mm, I know what they're trying to do when they hang out with you. So you're fucking some of these friends. That's a fact. Yeah, that's one. Of I mean, things, yeah, I find it really weird for women to it? say that I, I, I don't have any female friends. Then it's like, well, who do you share your deepest thoughts with about being a woman? My uncle. <laughs> That's random niggas. crazy. Random niggas. My <laughs> uncle is crazy. Seriously though, how many women have told y'all that? Because I've definitely gotten told that. Before. Oh yeah, a lot. I've heard that. Before. I heard that shit yeah. like, oh, female, females are this and that. I mean, I, we have a Jackson. couple of female friends that hang out. That it's not to say that they don't have female friends, but they just have friends that like we were friends to them, and we ain't never, you know, what I mean. Get, to get it, yeah. Never tried to get with them or nothing like that. They were just cool peoples, but Drake. still, in the back of your mind, you're like, nah. I know, I, I know, know you fucking one of these niggas. Yeah. So you try, you try, fuck every female you came across. Drake, is what you take basically um, saying. No, but I'm saying that in certain people with certain cases, if you're saying like, no, that's who I hang with. I don't always think that it's that it's innocent enough to where it's like, oh no, that's just my home, like. To me, when I see a girl, all right, so here, here's what I mean. The girl saying it, maybe it's true in their mind, but to me, it's not always true on the guy's part because I'm a guy and a lot That's of times if I'm earlier. spending time with somebody, like I don't smoke. And a lot of that smoking shit is is the mask that people use. Like, oh no, that's just my homie. I'll be smoking with him. Yeah, but that nigga, if, if you slip up, you think he ain't gonna put his dick in you? Like you think that's not a possibility is my point. Oh. That's, it's a possibility. And they make it seem like, no, it's not a possibility. And I'm like, no, on the right night, it's 100% a possibility. So yep. what the fuck are you talking about? <sighs> yeah, I mean, you chill, you chill with a motherfucker late enough and get late with a dude. No niggas like, oh, I'm going to head home. He's going to hang around and see where this shit can go. He's like, I'm going to see how fucked up she's get. She's going to get. And I'm going to say some wild, freaky shit that I'm about to do to another bitch. Just see if she bites the hook. And if she does, let me take it the next another step further. Yo, man, that... It's that shit that goes down. It's legit shit. It's it's a lot of shit. You're just waiting for the right, <laughs> waiting for the right reaction. Uh, I don't know about Kev's. Kev, I'm gonna be honest, man. The more I hear like the, the shit that go on in your head, like the stories that you say, I'm surprised women let you have sex with them. This guy, right? Yeah. Why? You say yo, some Kev foul got shit. <laughs> Kev say some shit, yo. Yo, you a foul ass nigga. I see what you mean when you say that now. Yo, I'm gonna just say some shit. I'm gonna just see where it goes. You know what I'm saying? Yo, like, he is the king of just saying some shit. Some crazy shit. Kev will just say, 
man, you heard, you know, farm the table. That's how his brain. That's how his brain to mouth work. <laughs> oh, I was gonna <laughs> say, I mean? dick to table. <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> uh, yo, listen, y'all, y'all realize. Let me hit, let me hit y'all with some shit. Y'all realize females talk a lot worse than guys talk, right? No, so they do. So when I say foul shit like that to them, it's kind of normal conversation, and they're shocked that a guy would have enough balls to say it to him. So they'd be like, you know what? True. You got enough balls to say this to me. I might I'm just give you some. some pussy. I might just that's give you some crazy. pussy. I, don't, I, might. I don't think that's they, true. Not, they, I ain't say they're going to give me. They, I might just give you some pussy. There's anything that you can do, you might get some pussy out of the situation. Uh, but should I say? But to, Kev, you warning, say you some shit bro. shit, bro. You say some shit that even the person who you talk to might step back a little bit like, nigga, what? <laughs> and then you'll try to clean it up a little. Nah, I'm, I'm just saying. <laughs> well, listen, I tell, <laughs> story, I, tell you, I tell you, I tell this story every time. With the the line that made my wife fall in love with me and be with me to this day. Oh I told God. her straight up, I'm gonna fuck the shit out of you till you love me. That's what I said to her. First time ever meeting her. And then what <laughs> you did? <laughs> and wind up hitting it. And Having a two baby. kids. Two kids later, <laughs> we're still going hard, baby. But I mean, that's what I'm trying to say is that I'm surprised that these motherfuckers actually be it gotta be something else. And I feel like I would want to hear from your 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 soon to be yeah, wife. You gotta yeah, you gotta what hear the other side of the actual, table. Yeah, like what actually <sighs> made it because she could have it could have just been that you were charming that whole night. Nah, she after said after you said some crazy shit that felt like she was gonna get raped. She or, said yeah, or you could have swooped in in a scenario where she was being harassed by one person and she'd have rather been harassed by you than the other person. You just yeah. had a leg up. I'm yeah, yeah, she, yeah the nigga anything. who was right the nigga who was harassing her. <laughs> Relax. Oh, yeah. You well, shot. Now you're bringing the goofiness. Yeah, so what she said what made her love this. I know we're supposed to be talking that about That was a jealousy. form of jealousy for Kev, right? Yeah. That, that mm-hmm. night in itself. Yeah, so she said, nah, yo, nah, yo. <laughs> nah, yo, I'm here to step on toes. Because <laughs> I'm here to get my shit off. She said what made it. She said what she said. She was like, I couldn't believe that guy that you talk like that. That you were bold enough to talk like that. I just had to. Else, and she said, I just had to see where it led. Yeah. Because you were just so off the wall. And. You know, I feel like I feel like the answer when it comes was, to is not going to be that direct. It's not because yeah. most guys come up His with paraphrase the, is crazy. No, because most guys come up with that corny bullshit that they're trying to peddle with their real intentions hidden, and my shit is just up front. So she was like, you know, it's yeah, right I can, there. I can see that being more of a more of an answer, like, oh, you were more up front than people normally are. I knew your intentions, so I, I get that. But the way you say it is what I'm what I'm referring to. Ha, I say shit. Telling, I like telling yeah. someone that you just met, I'm going to fuck you till you love me. The first ten minutes is rapish of meeting them. Like it's not it's not as charming as you would think. Yeah. Yeah, Even you though you might Tyson think that's what's the deal. Yeah, you, that's <laughs> what Mike Tyson said. He you said I mean? that. Kev gets, yeah. <laughs> gets vulgar aloud in public and pillow talks to the ear when no one's watching. <laughs> I'm gonna fuck you till you oh, love baby, me. You and then I'm gonna caress you and, and rub your feet. Yes. And we'll talk about all the time in oh, your you days. Your and then what? and then you step out, and then you're gonna love this dick. <laughs> <laughs> By dick, I mean conversation <laughs> and, uh, and dates that I take you on. Like but no, it has to be something else. It has to be something else. Let's let's continue. I was say, man, listen, we're not. This is a, this topic had nothing to do. With what we're talking about. You the one who died into Cam that Cam Day. Shit. This is like Paulo and Cam Day. You, it is you. I mean, it is you, Cam. The <laughs> essence of you. I just I listen, man. I don't know. I just these are the ABCs of me, baby. Listen, I hey. I credit this always. Dre's aunt is like gave me the best advice I ever. Knew he I'm sorry, but she always gave me the I best knew advice. It, I felt it but coming. I guess I guess I took the advice too fucking literal. You know what I'm saying? I took it too literal. I was like, she said, tell the truth. I said, okay. <laughs> you know, really, truth. there's a tell the truth. I think be it's aggressive. <laughs> <laughs> be a rapist. Is not yeah. the tell the truth like you would in jail. <laughs> <laughs> that's what, that's not what she said, bro. <laughs> I want you to examine what you said. <laughs> I mean, I'm not going to tell you to pretend like something because it would be a little bit too far. 
But imagine you standing next <laughs> to somebody that tells another girl that, and it never, and you never said that. What Kevin, would you feel like? I'm like, yo, this nigga crazy. Yeah. <laughs> this Welcome nigga to the club. <laughs> but when I see the nigga pull it off, I'm like, that's fucking ingenious. Y'all never said the other Let me just try some shit, Kev. Did. No, the first no. thing I would do if I saw that happen and she went with him, the first thing I would do is smell her drink. <laughs> <laughs> that's the first thing I'm going to do. <laughs> fuck this nigga putting here. <laughs> the fuck? Either that or 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 now I'm weary of her. Like, nah, this bitch crazy. Right? She crazy. And and, and, and how many of them has he found? A lot. He found a lot of crazy ones. This one I can say. Yeah, you know what? You know what comes. You know what it's comes with crazy. What comes with crazy women? All okay. crazy women have great pussy. I'm, I'm not familiar with that. Come on, Dre. The best pussy you ever had is for four slash tires or a broken window, or. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> and don't you never say nothing. Or your different. house set on fire. <laughs> your clothes getting bleached. The best pussy you gave was somebody that is batshit crazy. Yeah, um, literally I've batshit heard- crazy. I've heard of this before, this this phenomenon, and um, I would like to say that um, from the evidence that somebody has shown me from that phenomenon, it might be true. Yeah, it might right. be really true, like a lot. I, I, let me tell you from my point of view, from me, they crazy. They so they're so crazy, and they do so much jealous shit that ties into the topic. Do jealous shit like they fuck your clothes up or something like that. And their way of apologizing to make you come back is give you whatever you want to do in the bedroom. Like your imagination, whatever your imagination <laughs> goes with this crazy motherfuckers, she lets you explore everything. Are you yeah. Explore everything. Ex- do everything to me. You want to do we're gonna do that. I gotta make it, I gotta make it whole for burning your clothes up. <laughs> 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 gotta make it whole for shaving your dog bald. You know, I gotta do, make nah, it whole for putting do you sugar that, in your gas tank. Do you think that crazy comes from the things that you do, or just because oh, they were already crazy? Because just, I mean, crazy. I'm, I'm, think about it. Just, I'm, I'm gonna just play devil's advocate just for one second. Do it. You think that she's crazy? And she comes with good pussy because she's crazy. But is she crazy because she thinks that you come with good dick? Uh, bye, 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 boom. Wait, what the fuck you just say? Think of if, if you think <laughs> Kev thinks that she's. I'm just, I'm just playing devil's advocate for the other side. Kev thinks that she's crazy, and she's crazy, and she comes with good pussy, either because she's crazy or she's just crazy, and they have good pussy. But is she crazy because you came with the good dick? Kev. And now think she's crazy. Both could be true. You, Dre made because you say good, good because Dre the opposite has good. happened. Dre because made you say good remember, twice. remember <laughs> when you when you get that. All right, so you know how it is when you get the newness. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? You going all out, hundred yard dash. You know what I mean? You need that touchdown. You need to score a couple touchdowns. Mm-hmm. So so you running it back as many times as you can. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? You going you going to make her think about that first time. And then after that, if you're really not interested in her, like her, her, you don't really mm-hmm. care after that point. But Always. but Kev is the one, especially with him being a drinker, they always get the drunk dick. <laughs> so Kev is going and going. Energize the battery. Hey, man, it's best. And then the next day, they are that. in love with Kev. And they have a home. <laughs> so so think about it, Drake. <laughs> think about it. They don't got a place to live. They don't got the best dick they ever had. Whoa. That was great. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because oh, if you know Kev, you know how accurate that is. As soon as they get his nigga some pussy, Oops, jackpot! I got a place to live and bring my kids. <laughs> they don't bring the kids. I never. I don't think I ever got, bring the kids. Yeah, like, they got a universal babysitter at his. Oh yeah, not only have. Oh, oh, I have a universal babysitter. That's what I said. Yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna watch these kids. You can clean his house too. Oh my god! And then Kev come home, have a couple drinks, and then she get the first night all over again. Mm-hmm. Hey, I know you get. You got your yeah. You got your regimen that you use. Yep. Hey, listen, man. So <laughs> technically, they weren't really that crazy. Kev did you this. Made them crazy. Yeah. You made them crazy. And then gaslit them. 
Yep. <laughs> no gaslight them. You feeding them, clothing them, bathing them. Oh, listen, I'm a good guy. Like, you weren't good at all. <laughs> <laughs> you were a foul nigga. Yeah, uh, oh. yeah bro. <laughs> yeah, I do terrible. Listen. <laughs> I do terrible things. But I, tr- I, tr- I changed. You have. Yeah, so. <laughs> but, yeah, man, listen. I just don't like the jealous and the crazy shit, man. I don't. But, like I said, jealous ones come with good pussy. They, 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 the crazy ones, the bat shit crazy. They come with a great box. It, it's proven. No, it's I never think, proved me wrong. No, I think that. For real, for real, like I do think that's that's accurate. If you ever been in that situation, the one thing you're gonna look at and think about is be like, and you're you're gonna say like, man, but that shit, man, bro. I had a crazy one that was really like bad shit crazy, and she would go crazy, and I stop fucking around with this motherfucker. The next thing you know, my like my text messages just flooded with like mad nude pictures or videos or playing with herself and squirting. I'm like. I forgot it squirts. <laughs> Let me go. I got to go back. Then she turns to do something crazy again. I'm like, oh, leave this bitch alone. Then another couple 20 videos and pictures come through again. I said, you know what? I got to go back. 20 videos. Man, listen. Nope, listen. Month- <laughs> nothing, nothing compares. Nothing compares. Listen, listen, listen. Nothing compares to Kev telling me, speaking of crazy, Kev telling me that he had a girl one time that would that will play dead <laughs> in the bed. <laughs> Nothing compared to that. He said that she would. What you say she would do? She would. Yeah, well, like, she was having a seizure. A seizure. The first oh, time she did. And then she, and then she would lay there. Lay there, stiff. And I got nervous the first couple of times. Like, and first I woke up. I, felt, I, I was like, the first two times, I felt bad. I was like, oh shit, I can't argue with this bitch. But then one time she made me so mad. <laughs> One time she made me so mad she did that shit. I said, bitch, you're going to die today. I just sat there watching. I said, let me see how long you can hold your fucking breath. Because you hold her breath. You just sit there like she's dead. So she would stop breathing and all that shit. Mm-hmm. Then the motherfucker came back to life. <gasps> motherfucker came back to life. Can I say he walked out the room, turned the light off on him. <laughs> yeah, I just left. Up. I just left. <laughs> just left That's what she knew. So wait, who That's was it though? Was it the you? Was on the line. <laughs> was it you or was it her? She was. She was crazy. No, it I mean her. like that. That that brought it. That brought the what this she did, man. She, man. Listen, she was a squirter. You brought the crazy on. She was crazy. And listen, she gave me a place to live. I didn't live, I live with her. So she oh, was seizing up in her own that bed. Really, that really turned cab on. <laughs> listen, well, you, oh, bitch, you got oh, bitch, place to live. You got it, and you ready to die over this? <laughs> <laughs> that motherfucking man. Oh, shit. That motherfucker, that, that motherfucker tried to play dead the third time, boy. That shit made me. I, Dre said I did. I turned the lights off, walked out the room, and left her crib. <laughs> <laughs> they ain't doing this shit today. Oh my gosh! They get a phone Ken call. Been she's in, a, she's in, a been in jail if that was a real. Thing. Yo, for real. <laughs> would have been for real. That'd have been the one time. The last, the last scene, last living person to see her. Like, they wouldn't know what happened. Motherfucker called me. Oh, she's in a hospital. I'm like, she's in a hospital. I call the hospital. I said, what's wrong with her? Oh, we haven't found anything wrong yet. We're still looking, trying to figure. I say nothing wrong with okay, that. Okay, what mother. hospital you call I that call just it. give you information about the patients? Uh, over the I was phone. married. I was General <laughs> Hospital, nigga. No, I was married. <laughs> Why that married this crazy motherfucker? So, so Yo, I, was al- I actually, I actually forgot that you that that. That's what you <laughs> I didn't even think about that until so, I forgot that that's what. So you did. I had access I to I had access. She so I had access to that information. <laughs> I access to the information. Oh, so shit. when I called the doctors and the doctor, I, and the doctor couldn't give me no general answer, I said that motherfucker faking. That's what can't file for a divorce. <laughs> I said the motherfucker faking. I told the doctor straight up that motherfucker faking. <laughs> right need to kick the her the doctor. fuck out your hospital. <laughs> right. That motherfucker wasting money. <laughs> the doctor to kick her out the hospital. Wasting your fucking time. Ain't nothing wrong with her. She crazy. Um. She do this shit all the time. I ain't going. You got to go see her the hospital. I ain't going to see her in the hospital. The doctor ain't saying nothing was wrong with her. They don't know they can't find nothing. Ain't nothing wrong with this motherfucker. Like you're not gonna keep doing this shit, faking dead and all this other shit. Do you think you take it a whole nother level and Listen, end up in the hospital? Let me I need to know this. And now, now, now we off the rails. Now we off the rails. Oh my I need to god. Know this. 
How did it start? How did the fake and dead start? Like, what would happen uh, from start to finish? You would say, go clean the dishes, and she would just start seizing. What the fuck? And then she just... <laughs> hey, yo, it's not funny, but what? <laughs> we were just sitting there one night. We, like, like shit got heated. Like, this is, like, the first, like, real big argument we had. Shit got heated. And this before we was married. Like, I was like, this is, I know I should have seen this. I, I'm threatening, like, yo, I'm ready to leave. Like, this is some bullshit. Threatening to leave and all this shit. Motherfucker. Crying, she's crying hysterically, and I knew she had asthma, so she's crying hysterically and shit. She starts <laughs> like hyperventilating, and then the nigga stops breathing. I get scared because I know the nigga got asthma. You hyperventilate, then you stop breathing. So I'm like, oh shit! I'm trying to resuscitate this bitch and everything, I'm trying to pump her up, you, <laughs> trying to get her. You trying to resuscitate <laughs> her, and she was holding her breath. <laughs> Oh, the breath that she came back to. <laughs> so I'm like, oh shit. I apologize. Like, yo, I didn't mean to make you that upset. Like, yo, what happened again? I felt, I was scared. I was scared and I felt bad. So I said, damn, man, I'll never get you that upset again. I didn't know this. Can, you, can I pause for a second? What's up? Do you remember vividly what happened? Yeah. Right? So when you tried to resuscitate <laughs> her while she was holding her breath, how many times did you blow into her lungs? While she while she was holding her own breath, because when you hold your breath, you take in as much oxygen as you can. You fill your lungs up. So at this point, now you're I'm holding feeding, her nose. I'm feeding and, the craziness. Yeah, I'm feeding the craziness. How, I'm how many more. times did you blow <laughs> into her chest? Maybe like once or twice. So I'm eating the craziness. Like she don't gotta hold her. She don't her gotta hold her blow. <laughs> she don't gotta hold her breath no more because I'm supplying the air, so she could just fake being out longer. Because I don't gave more air to yeah, her. But, but too much air in your lungs, she's going to have to <laughs> immediately blow it out. Man, listen. All I know is Trevor said the bitch came back on like the second one when I resuscitating her. I said, fuck. Hey, yo, Kev <laughs> was in such a panic that he didn't realize he saved her life in the first blow. <laughs> he blew it and pumped. <laughs> ah, ah. Kev had the power. <laughs> <laughs> yo, the- <laughs> so, so again... <laughs> You know, come come one or two pass. I forget about the situation. Get into another big argument. The nigga does it does this shit again. What? I panic. I panic again because I had like the the shit had I forgot, but I panic again. Like oh man, and then some said, man, this bitch really, you know, really having these seizures. Like I start to have doubts. The second one, but I was still scared enough to like save this motherfucker life. I was still scared, so I had to do it. So I had to play the fucking play along with the craziness. I didn't know this motherfucker was crazy, but I start doubting the shit. So you know, so I start doubting. I start questioning the shit. I said, "This motherfucker, last time, same situation. We had an argument. She started hyperventilating, and she passed the fuck out." I'm like, all right, you know what? Something, something ain't right. The third time this nigga tried this shit, I was so mad and so done and over this motherfucker. So mad. When that motherfucker faked that fucking shit to hyperventilate, (laughs) acting like she couldn't breathe. (laughs) The nigga passed out and stopped breathing. And my mind said, bitch, you're going to die today. (laughs) I just got the fuck up, put my clothes on, (laughs) proceeded to walk to the room, turn the lights off. You didn't hear the nigga start breathing. I had to resuscitate it this time. At that point, I said, this motherfucker's crazy. I knew at this point, this nigga crazy. This nigga been faking. Two times, I done breathing in this bitch chest thing and she dying. Ain't nothing wrong with this motherfucker. She just crazy. I said, I gotta leave her. Ain't nothing crazier than you walking out of a room <laughs> while a person's having a seizure and then yelling, you gonna die today. <laughs> and then close the turn light of a close the door behind you. Yeah. You, you did. All right, did you just come strolling out the room? You just gonna let me die? <laughs> <laughs> I knew you didn't love me. You gonna let me die? That's what you gonna do? <laughs> it was a test. Yo, you don't even know. Cause some shit that like that, like that, like that scenario <laughs> there, there played saying, out at the time. Because this was years and years and years ago. You saying the pussy was good? Man, pussy was man. Listen, was right. the pussy what made you stay? Pussy what did make you stay? Cause I'm like, yo, you understand. It wasn't even at home. When the last you time was her, you was at her home, at her house, she gave so, you a place to live. She was a squirter, so nothing's crazier than you hitting and this shit just squirting every fucking where, like just going crazy. You are the worst person. I'm, I'm like, like <laughs> Jesus, like <laughs> the, the bed, just the bed is so terrible. You make the decisions, bro. <laughs> 
Like, yeah. look how you make your decisions. <laughs> <laughs> they're terrible. It's terrible. <laughs> just he's a he's a kind hearted asshole. <laughs> yeah, definitely. But was she jealous? I think I remember. Oh man! Saying, oh that was was, Oh my nigga! This nigga was. Oh my god! She was yeah. threatening. She was threatening bitches. I mean, I think a chick was talking to me one time, and it it was just like a normal conversation. I forgot where we was at. We might have been like at the kids' school or something. I might have been at the kids' school. It might have been at Kiara school. And I ran into somebody I knew. I just knew from high school. And I'm just having a conversation with this person. I ain't seen this person in a while since high school. Just remember from high school. This motherfucker comes in, like, stands in the middle between both of us, gives the bitch the death stare, and then looks at me like, I can't believe you up here talking to other bitches in my fucking face while I'm standing here. I said, bitch, what? Did you even come check what this conversation was about? You just... <laughs> yeah. I'm about to say something, bro. Y'all in there for three <laughs> seconds to just see, like, to overhear the conversation me and her is having before you came and interject. Like, you were standing off where you possibly couldn't hear this conversation. You then came over, proceeded to get between both of us. Give her the death stare. I like, of like, I'm gonna kill you, bitch. And then look at me and they're like, I can't believe you talking to other bitches. My yo, I said, bitch, what? Like, we were just talking about high school. This bro, motherfucker, she used to date one of my friends. Like, what the fuck is wrong with you? I'm going to throw this out there, bro. And I think it needs to go in the jealousy in the jealousy topic. It's going to be a fucked up way to say it, though. Some people, and I'm talking about that person, from what you tell me, some people, they just retarded. <laughs> Sometimes... They so retarded that it might come off as jealousy, but really they don't just they just don't know where to put their rage. They don't know where to put it, so they give it to you. And they and they and they look. You said she walked up and gave you the death stare. I took that a whole different way, bro. Oh, but I'm I took saying. that a whole. I took. I didn't take that as jealousy. I took that as something wrong with you. <laughs> I took that as <laughs> somebody walking up. And not knowing what to do socially. <laughs> when I say, I mean, I mean, playfully. So I'm, I'm gonna say, uh, mentally, mentally, uh, delayed. nah, retarded. Retarded no, is the perfect word. So when they look at, when they look at, they when look at you and they look at that, like, why are you not talking to me? Why are you not talking to me here? So that's what happened. I took it as that. Her, she wasn't jealous. She just didn't know what to do with her brain at the time. And you didn't help the situation because <laughs> you usually be telling bitches, I'm going to fuck you till you love me. So she ain't know what was going on. Yeah. Is she he saying the same it. thing to her? Is he saying yeah. to me? You got to think about did that. You inter- did you introduce them? Bro, I didn't you, have you, a, you got to yep, understand. Yep, I didn't have a chance to introduce the motherfuckers. I'm just, you know, like you're like, when I had to get care, when I was kids going to school, like I had, the parents would have to pick the kids up. So, She's in a car. You know what I mean? She's in a car. I'm walking to Kiera's school, and as I'm waiting to get Kiera, somebody else kid that goes to school there happens to see me that I went to school with. So it was like a conversation of like, hey, hey, what's up? How you been? You know, da, da, da. Yeah, picking my daughter up. Yeah, your daughter go ahead too? Cool. Yeah, man, I ain't seen you since high school type shit. And this motherfucker proceeds to get out of the car. You don't even, I don't have time to fucking say, hey, this is so-and-so from high school because the bitch walks between the both of us. What shocked me? You didn't see come to the side. Usually a girl, when they see you talk to another girl, they come beside you and, <laughs> and try to introduce themselves to like, hey, I'm such and such wife or some shit like this. You came in between the conversation. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> I think that just proved my point. Yeah. Give what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, Kev's here. I'm here. She's right here. Well, she's standing sideways so she can look at both of y'all. She like, came. Yeah, 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 yeah. But she, she came. But did she come and stand directly in front of you no. and stare at the bitch, then about face and then look at her? That's what she did. <laughs> hit, her, hit her with the dumb stare and about face me. I said, who this yeah, bitch you think? I'm yeah, like, her brain couldn't compute, bro. Her brain couldn't catch up to what we're going hey, on. Hey, yo, to get in between that shit like a sandwich and then flip over. Yeah. yeah. And you stupid too, because you sitting there and you ain't even you ain't even say, yo, this is my wife. You just was like, 
Bro, I don't know what you want me to say. Nigga, I, <laughs> nigga, I, my daughter? I'm in complete. <laughs> nigga, you gotta understand. I'm in complete disbelief of this shit. Like this, this shit never. My brain not computing fast enough. Like, who the fuck? What? What? What happened here? Did I? <laughs> I'm just used to girls coming up to the next to me. You, you, you just gonna get between us and give her a death stare and then when turn she, to me and say, "Who the fuck she, is this bitch you talking to?" As y'all were talking and she slid between your conversation, I guarantee that conversation immediately stopped. It abruptly <laughs> stopped. You it were looking at dead, the back of her head. <laughs> it went dead silent, so it looks like I'm doing wrong, but it's just like I'm trying to fucking. Compute this craziness. Meanwhile, yeah, the bro. friend that you're talking to is so confused. <laughs> like, the fuck is this bitch doing? <laughs> you know she walked away saying, too. Imagine, imagine, imagine her getting in between y'all and then can't peek his head from behind her to look to see what's going on. And that motherfucker left right away like, I can't bro. do it with these motherfuckers. I can't do it with these after that, yeah. I would see this person. It was so fucking awkward. I wouldn't even speak Hell to her. Yeah. I just like, yo, I just, she, she looked at me and just like pace off fast. I'm like, yeah, like, like, nah, I'm not doing this today. Yeah, you got nah. crazy bitches. <laughs> and she can pick them, bro. And she, and I'm guessing the girl didn't like challenge the situation because she like, yo, she knew this motherfucker was like next level crazy. That's a fight. You don't want to get into a fight with a crazy person. That is a fight. You keep saying crazy. Yeah. <laughs> you are using the wrong word. And I keep trying to tell you uh, to use the wrong word. Well, you don't want to get in a fight with a motherfucker with that type. It's called, you got retarded which, strength. Like, which, you don't want that fight. Like, you don't want that fight. You don't want, you don't want that fight. That's a fight you're not going to win. Go last for an hour. That motherfucker, that motherfucker would just keep getting stronger like the Incredible Hulk through the fight, and you think and you're winning. You can be beating this motherfucker head, and this motherfucker stand back up like Undertaker Dead Man style. See, you this fight, nigga son. right here comes to a situation, <laughs> and in the first ten minutes of meeting somebody, he says some shit like, "I'm gonna fuck you till you love me," and then when he does it, and they do, it he sense. doesn't understand why they're crazy. You did yeah. what you said you was going to do. You provide a home. Now you're providing kids. It's like, yeah. Yeah, you did this to you. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, you were the culprit at the end of the that, day. And that, I think that is the lesson for you today. No, that, I, the lesson is, like, nigga, look at the signs hard. Like you hard. was the sign. That, 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 <laughs> <laughs> that was like, bro. But can y'all imagine just sitting there, you convers like, don't yeah. you think like have your girl ever had see you talk to another female? She just like comes to see what the conversation's about and then like makes judgment off of that. Like your girl does. I'm pretty sure y'all girl. My does wife that. is a jealous woman. But she comes and assess the conversation first. My wife will come if I'm talking to someone that she does not know and she has not introduced. She has not been introduced. She will walk up to the conversation and introduce herself regardless of what's being said. Yeah. It's not it's the not conversation is <clears throat> later. Yeah, and and it's not it no no no, it's not just a oh, I mean yeah, it's not it's not like a it's not like a uh hey, how are you doing? I'm his, it's like we talking and Hi, how you doing? I'm his fiance, Leah. And you are? And it'll be like, it's a little awkward. And I'll just look at her and I'll smile because I'm like, I know what's going on here. But that's normal. No, that's that normal. mean, that's normal. Yeah, that's yeah. normal yeah. etiquette. But you can feel the energy. You know what I'm saying? It where yeah, it doesn't feel. Pissing on the tree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, yeah. that's, that's crazy but analogy. Saying, but that's yeah. normal. No, no, no. no. Look what you're saying. I... <laughs> but that's normal <laughs> etiquette. But see, this nigga comes with the crazy. From the door, so they, if you come to the crazy with, if you come to crazy with crazy, mm -hmm. then the crazy, crazy feels crazy. invited. Duh. So she might be like, oh, I could just be myself because I see how this no. nigga going to be crazy. But, yeah. but, but you you see how I explained how his wife had normal, that's normal etiquette of it a is. woman. All women do that. Definitely normal etiquette. You don't get in the middle. Like a sandwich. You yeah. don't. <laughs> and then, and then you don't about get, face. Not even a, you don't say anything to her. Just, just stare, just stare down, down, and then, and then cuss and me then the fuck to out. about face <laughs> in the same spin. <laughs> just spin <laughs> like Every, a robot. <laughs> you better imagine if you're on the outside of that conversation looking in. All you're gonna see is you're not. You don't see jealousy. You see something completely different. 
Dog, you know to, an, to anybody else looking on the outside, and they be like, damn, that must have been a bitch he cheated on her with, and, and she that's why she came up here like that. No, this is just, this is the first time they even interacted with each other. I ain't even, I've seen somebody, this is a long time person I've seen from high school. I ain't seen the motherfucker mm -hmm. in years. Like, this ain't nothing about this person I'm talking to has to do anything with this relationship. Did she know that person? No. Are you sure? Yes. No, she was a baby. She was younger than me. Yeah, she was she, a baby. She was like, I was 27. She was like 22. So, How you know her from school? No, 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 no. My girl at the time, she was 22. The girl that I was oh. talking to, that she, we went to okay, school together. Yeah. So I don't know. She did not come with proper girlfriend etiquette. She, like your girl did, was like, hey, introduce yourself. Like, pull, like I said, come to the side. You and then all girls do that. That's been since the dawn of time. Well, I, I thought proper etiquette is after a person's finished talking, then they no. like, hey, how you no. doing? If it's <sighs> if, if it's something if it's something that you like, if you do feel a way about them talking to another man or another girl, then you might you might come in and interject. Hey, how you doing? Because this motherfucker ain't introduced me yet, and I'm looking at y'all motherfuckers. So I need to I need to let y'all know I see you. So it's it's it's. <sighs> They do that on purpose. Yeah. Yes, it's cool. You can do that. You you can't walk between Death Stare no, and man, then she was challenging you, and you ain't do shit. Mm -hmm. I'm not fighting that they motherfucker. Probably got slapped as soon yeah. as she said something. And then, and then when you would have tried to hit her, she would have just <laughs> fell the fuck out. <laughs> and fell the fuck out, and you wouldn't know what to do. So she knew what she was doing. Oh my god. Yeah. Continue though, bro. I'm just saying. <laughs> That motherfucker right there, that that was a very oh my yeah. gosh, it was dangerous jealous. Like it was like that motherfucker get dangerously jealous. Like dangerously jealous. I'm like, yo. Y'all froze. Oh cousin bitch. That's blood. <laughs> I can talk to her. Relax. <laughs> Is that your blood cousin or your southern cousin? Yeah. Relax, bitch. Like, like chill. <laughs> Oh no, nah, we know niggas <laughs> do that southern cousin, cousin shit. Please don't bring it up. <laughs> I'm not. I'm just saying. But, <laughs> but yo, man, listen, we, listen, we gonna wrap this shit up, man, because we're beating a dead horse right now, man. Listen, we were supposed to talk about jealous partners. You went into your partner. I just went to my well, previous did. partner. I oh, did, yeah, yeah. and then when I got to talking, yeah, we got some good shit out of it because uh, that shit's funny. I'm sorry, it's funny. Sorry. Yo, man, I hope y'all enjoyed today's episode, man. Enjoy the rest of y'all day. Peace.